Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a big Lusher haul. This is the, I pretty much got all the stuff, well most of the stuff from the 2019 Valentine's Day collection and I got a lot. Let me just say that. So without further ado, make sure you like this video if you like Lush hauls or Lush and make sure you, you subscribe as well if you're new to my, my channel. We're just going to pop right into it. This year's collection is very risque so there's like a lot of sexual innu innuendos. Be prepared for that. I was keen for this collection, let me tell you that. It was quite fun. So the first product I got here is the Eve's Cherry Lip Scrub. Cherry and peach linger on the lips after the first taste. Forbidden taste. And it just looks like this. I love Lush's lip scrubs. I've got, I've had the bubblegum one and two sugar plum fairies. And they usually last me like six, eight months. Ooh. It smells like really sweet. Yeah, it smells a lot like cherry. Just gonna give it a little taste. Oh my, that tastes so good. Tastes like a really sweet, tart cherry. Oh, tastes so good. It tastes like really artificial though, but it probably got like all good ingredients in here, like caster sugar, organic jojoba oil, cherry kernel oil, fair trade, fair trade shea butter, citric acid. That's why it tastes sour. How to use. Stroke over the lips and lick off and let jojoba and shea butter settle in for a soft supple pout with the flavour of sweet peaches. I think it definitely tastes like cherry more than peaches. With like a light, very very slight hint of peach. It tastes so good. And this is suitable for vegans. And this is self preserving which is really good because it will probably take me a few, I got two of these. It'll probably take me a few, this is probably a year's worth for me. And plus I've got another one in the bathroom at the moment. This was made by Jenny. Hi Jenny. She's not got light, nice long curly hair. How cute. And I paid, I'll give you the prices too. These retail for $9.95. Okay, next. I've got so much. I've got next one is in the shape of an emoji and it's the orb, aubergine aubergine eggplant emoji bath bomb it is so cute and apparently this is supposed to smell like 29 high street which is pretty much the smell of a lush shop apparently it smells very it smells like citrusy the very florally with a slight woody scent. It smells really good. It smells so good. I thought I was going to be a bit on the fence about it. But it smells really good. It does smell like a lash shop. And it smells really strong. I paid $6.95 for this. And I got four of them. So I'm stocked up for a while because this is this is my first 29 High Street product ever. I really want if they ever come out with the shower gel again, I'm definitely going to pick up one to add to my collection and a fragrance too as well. I, I can't wait to give this a go in the bathtub. I don't know if I'll use it this week. So yes, that's exciting. And I'll read the description for you. Aubergine. Tonka and Litz, Litzy help to calm and comfort even the smuttiest of minds. How to use. Swipe right, swipe right and drop this saucy bath bomb into the water. So it's got citric acid, bergamot oil, hoewood, Litzy, cube oil, Tonka Absolute, fresh Aubergine, crema tata, all that fun stuff. It smells really good. I can't wait to try this. Next, we've got 
This one was out last year. And this one is the Love Boat. How cute is she? So cute. Ooh. And she smells very florally with a slight sweetness to it. And I don't know if I can smell citrus. But I could be wrong. I'll, I got, did I get four of these or three of these? Four of these. I got four of these. So yeah. And I'll just read the description for you. Love Boat. With a cargo of bright, sweet orange and Sicilian lemon oils, this bath bomb is about to set sail and it's all aboard. How to use. Place into hot water for a bath that really floats your boat. So it's got Sicilian lemon oil, organic sweet orange oil and rose oil. So I can really smell the rose oil. But the first few ingredients is the lemon. I can't wait to try this one as well. And nothing come broken as well in my package, which I was really happy with. And for the love boat, I paid $7.95. Okay, next is a very scandalous one again. And this one is the number six. Well, it's called six. And it's a reusable blah blah blah. So you can get mo multiple uses out of this. And this is supposed to smell like Yognog. So it's not the same as the Yule Log Bubble Bar from the Christmas collection. It's a lot more... Yeah, you can really smell the clove. I can smell the Yulang Ling right now. Now that I'm reading the description. But it, it smells like really spicy, sweety, florally. It is a different to the, the Yule Log Bubble Bar. It's less creamy and buttery. But I still really enjoy it. It smell. I actually enjoy the smell. You can get a different colour as well. I paid... These were $9.95 each. I got two of these. And I got the blue and yellow one as well. This is a spicy and creamy fragrance to help you feel saucy and sexy. How to use. Hold under running water and pop the rest to one side to discover the joy of sex. So, yes. Very risky. So we've got 6-6 six, six, or... Ooh! 69. Ooh! Kinky. <laughs> so next we've got Unicorn Horn Bubble Bar. I've got four of these. And this cost me $8.95. No unicorns were harmed in making of this magic filled lavender yalang lang and a rolly bar. How to use. Crumble the horn under the tap and enjoy. So this has got Lavender, Ylang Lang and Neroli. So it kind of smells similar to a French Kiss Bubble Bar. Which, that's my favourite. So that's what she looks like. And it smells so good. It smells like a French Kiss Bubble Bar. But a little bit more florally. Even though it's got lavender in it. This will be so good after a long week at work just to relax and have a bubble bath in or just to relax my mood if I've had a stressful day. Next I got a soap. This is the Strawberry Whip Soap. Fresh strawberry, geranium and jasmine will get your deuces going and love all skin. How to use. Serve up soft skin advantage with hydrating coconut oil, silken tofu and Creamy fair trade organic cocoa butter. So this has got coconut oil, fresh strawberry, cocoa butter, geranium oil, jasmine absolute, and silken tofu. Yeah, apparently this is supposed to smell like a lush exclusive, but they only bought back from some of the like OG forum something like that customers like really a while ago 
and it's in the twin tub twin tub strawberry twin tub uh, scent family I could be wrong if you want to know a bit more about that just go to Lush -a Lot's video and she'll explain it a little bit better I'm just going off from memory of what she said so I'm just going to show you what it looks like it looks like it's very moisturizing it sounds very moisturizing moisturizing so this is what she looks like so she's got like a really moisturizing center right there I'm gonna smell it it's got like a slight smell of strawberry but I can really smell the geranium and what's the, what was the other one jasmine it smells really florally I don't know I did wish it did smell a lot like strawberries even with the strawberry Santa I didn't think that it smelled a lot like a lot like strawberries which I really wish it did but um, none of that it's not my favorite scent so I picked up two of those because I've been using a lot of soap lately and I wanted to pick up a whole bunch just to stock up all this is just to stock up me f over the year so this might even last me till next year and I paid it's fairly big soap too $11.95 it says eleven seventy seven, but I think I got a discounted price because I bought so much. So it's not telling me the correct one, but I think it's like eleven ninety five. So I got two of those. I got the Open Your Heart Bubble Bra, and this is inspired by Madonna's bra. As you can see and it's supposed to smell like golden pear which I have the soap the bath bomb and the spray so I'm excited to have a bubble bar because they bubble bars are my favorite bath product and favorite product from Lush altogether so yes it's very glittery gonna get gold everywhere hopefully I don't get it on my nose it smells so good I think this is one of my favorite products so it smells like golden pear but like a little bit more florally it's a good floral in it oh no I can smell the sandalwood I can never pick up the sandalwood I paid $8.95 for this and it's got like a uh, cocoa butter or like shea butter in the middle so it's very moisturizing it's a very moisturizing bath but you still get like the bubbles and stuff and I probably get I'll probably break it in half or maybe not I don't know we'll see how we go but it looks I don't know for some reason I thought it was gonna be bigger it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be so I might only get one use out of it it's got I'll read you the description. Unhook a golden pear and unwind with rich scents of cardamom and sandalwood. How do you split into and crumble half under the running water? So I got six of these because Lush doesn't come out with very, very many golden pear products. So I decided to pick up six because I love the scent as well. Next I got this shower gel in avocado wash. Get that feel good Friday feeling all week long as uplifting bergamot combines with organic avocado to reassure you that weekend is only a few washes away. Ooh. Now apparently this is doesn't smell like avocado co-wash. It smells different. And this was made by Rosie. So it smell it's got bergamot oil, let's see, cuba oil, olibanum oil, carrageen extract, which is seaweed, and organic avocado oil. Ooh, and fresh avocado. Avocado is my favorite food. Ooh. Okay. I can smell the avocado and 
kind of a fresh scent. It's got, it doesn't have much. It's a bit, yeah, it's like, uh, it's, I'm usually, like, most of my shower gels are sweet. So this is very different. It smells kind of earthy too. It smells really good. I thought I was going to hate this because everyone has been like not happy with it. So I thought, more oh, no, because I've never tried really anything avocado co washi, washi, but I've never tried anything from the avocado co wash scent. So I was a little bit nervous, but I just thought, what the heck. And plus, I wanted to add to my shower gel collection at the moment. Let me know if you would like to see a video on that as well, and I can do that for you. I'm kind of lit. I'm kind of liking the scent. It's a lot different than I thought, but it doesn't smell like really bad. The only thing I ha didn't really like from Lush was the Ghost in the, da in the Dark scented soap. I wasn't a big fan of that one, but yeah. I can't wait to give this a go. How to use. Come on and have a go. If you think you, you're you hard enough, we don't need to tell you how to use a shower gel, do we? If you really don't know how, then why not invite someone you really like into the shower with you to demonstrate? So I've got another shower gel and this is in the scent American Cream. Cleansing fresh strawberries and uplifting fresh orange juice go together like a Rama Rama Lama Lama Kardinga Da Dinga Dong <laughs> Smell fresh forever as a Shoe Bop Sha Wada Wada Yippity Boom De Boom These guys are funny <laughs> So I got this in the big bottle and I paid $29.95 for this as well Now not many people are happy with this either. There is a couple that really like the scent, but it doesn't smell exactly the same to American Cream, which smells like it's got vanilla absolute, clary sage oil, lavender oil, orange juice, and fresh strawberry juice. So it's going to smell a lot more like vanilla because that's the first few ingredients. And this is suitable for vegans as well. Let's give it a big sniffy sniff. And it's kind of a thick consistency. Consistency, as same as the avocado co-wash as well. Which I like in a shower gel. But it kind of looks like it's moisturizing because it's like a creamy scent. A kind of creamy look. It's very light. It doesn't smell bad, let me just say that. It's a very light fragrance. I don't know if it might be different in the shower. It, it kind of smells a little sweetish with the vanilla. Next, I've got a sample. This is the Plum Rain Shower Gel. I have the big bottle of this. This will be perfect for when I go traveling in. And it smells, oh, very like beautiful plum, citrusy fruity very fruity scent which I really love it's my one of my favorites lucky last product and this is the big banana hydrating cocoa and shea butter melt as things heat up as Brazilian orange oil rejuvenates how to use peel off your clothes and stroke over the skin store in a cool dry place for next time fair trade organic cocoa butter Fair trade shea butter, perfume, extra virgin coconut oil, fresh organic fair trade banana, ylang ylang oil, clove bud oil, almond and essential oil, Brazilian orange oil. I was going to use this as like a body lotion, but apparently it's like really oily, so that means it'll take like forever to sink in the skin. So. Yeah, and I paid $10.95. At first, you can really smell the clove bud oil first. So this is what it looks like. It's very oily. It smells like banana yogurt. 
with the spicy banana yogurt. It smells really good. Like people have been on the fence about this as well. I wish that it didn't have the clove bud oil in it, but I think that's to soothe the muscles. Yeah, so what you, how you use that is you just rub it over your skin, like you and your partner could do it. <laughs> or you could just, if you're by yourself, you can do it yourself. It's probably not the best to use because it is really oily for like a body lotion. But if you have really dry skin like me and you really want to pamper yourself and you're not really going to go anywhere in a hurry because it's a very oily product so you're going to have to let it really sink into your skin before you go anywhere. But I would probably use it for either getting my boyfriend to try and give me a massage that will be some effort. Other than that I'm probably just going to use it as a body lotion to tell you the truth. That was the last thing. On the website I can't get the peachy bath bomb and the love token reusable bubble bath. I really wanted those two but they say they're coming soon on the website so I'm going to wait till they come out. I'm probably going to grab four of each. The peachy bath bomb is smoke supposed to smell very citrusy and it smells a little bit like peaches and I'm really I'm probably going to put a photo or something up here to show you what it looks like I was so excited when I saw it on Instagram I was like I need this peachy bath bomb it looks like a butt the love token it smells very gingery and it smells really spicy which I think that would have been great for like a long day at work where I'm really sore and tired I think that will really help my muscles soothe my muscles but I'm not really keen about the scent with that because I'm not a big fan of ginger but still I really want to pick it up just so it does help me with soothing, <laughs> soothing my muscles and stuff Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this haul. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And yeah, until the next video guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.